This is traffic B1 Nancy Bravo, we're still final for 25 left. Traffic B1, 93 Bravo, back ahead, room 25 left. Brussels traffic AV177 established on the localizer uh, for 25 left, uh, approximately 11 miles out. Hi, the security and safety checks are all done. Are we good to start boarding? Yes, you can stop boarding. Thanks. Hello, I'm 
Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Thorpe Flies and to another very, very exciting uh, preview video, preview stream, in which we are going to be having a look at Joe Erlandson's latest project, an upcoming release um, of Oslo Garda Moon. 
Um, it's an airport that we already have a couple of versions of in the sim. We have a very good freeware version, and we have an even better version published by Orbex by uh, Finn Hansen. So the aim of today really is firstly to have a very nice flight, uh, and secondly to have a look around the new airport and see what we think of it and see how it compares to the existing payware offering, basically, that's the plan. Um, and I thought, as, route, as a route, uh, it would be appropriate to go from Joe's last uh, release, Brussels, where we are now, um, so we can also maybe get a sense of whether uh, he's got even better, Brussels is amazing, or whether perhaps quality slipped a little, seems unlikely, um, but yeah, it just seemed fitting to, to go between two of his airports for, for this flight. So we're currently about 15 minutes from departure. Uh, we're just refueling, as you can see, and uh, boarding will be underway once that is done, I should think. Although I have noticed that the Phoenix isn't opening the cargo doors, and I'm a bit worried that maybe that's uh, an impediment to boarding, because I do sometimes have boarding happening during fueling, I think. But anyway, I don't know. We have a new version of the Phoenix as well, which I haven't flown, so we'll see how that goes. Should be good. Who have we got in the in the uh, chat? We have Alex. Welcome, nice to see you. We have uh, I pray Houdini over on YouTube. Thank you for coming. Tree we win. Twenty eight months of Club Filbert membership. Thank you, boss. Ryzen in the four hundred and fifty six just subscribed. Pog streamer. Pog plane. Pog everything. It's very nice of you, boss. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness me, Simon! You're nearly thirty months. Nice to see you, boss. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? Menzies Finest just subscribed. Almost in my 30s camera. <laughs> Very much appreciate your continued support, boss. Lovely to have you back. Um, I, what was I doing before all of these uh, nice people started throwing money at me? That's right. I was welcoming people. I can't remember how far I'd got. Let's start again. We have Alex. Satira as well. My goodness me. It's been, it has been a long time. Nice to see you. I'm all right. I'm all right. Sitiragilangith just subscribed. Hello, Phil, but how are you? Very well, thank you, boss. Very well. It has. It has. Anyway, uh, as I say, what was I saying? Right, Alex is here. We have iPro Houdini. We have Degree, We have Maple Leaf. We have Sabres. And we have Rocking Alpaca. I do remember you, yeah. But it's been, uh, yeah, it's been yonks. So I had to, I decided to focus on Twitch because I had to pick because, um, Twitch would not let you multi-stream, wouldn't even let you upload to YouTube within 48 hours or something like that. So I went with Twitch because that was uh, growing, whereas YouTube wasn't so much. And now Twitch have said I can, you know, you can multi-stream as a as an affiliate. So it doesn't matter. So I thought I may as well do a bit of YouTube streaming as well. And uh, you know, I've got a a lot of uh, a lot of months of, of absence from YouTube to make up for. So uh, yeah, <coughs> doing my best. Have you? I'm all right. Yeah, I'm all right. Just taking the MD88 out for a spin. Forgot how hard it can be to fly a more manual plane after flying nothing but the Sweet Phoenix for the past month or so. Yeah, so I've been back in the 146 with the with the update. Now we've got the UNS1. And I found the same. That it is a bit of a bit of a challenge more than I more than I remembered. But once you get back into it, it is quite a lot of fun. And in fact, I was planning to do a 146 stream. But I've just had such a busy fortnight, I thought tonight we'll do one thing at a time. We'll go and look at the um, look at the new airport. Nice easy flight, hopefully, in an A320. Save that for a day when I have a bit more energy. Oski boy, Daniel, thank you ever so much. 15 months of subbing. Much obliged. Oski boy just subscribed. How are you, boss? Yeah, and you're going to like it. You're going to like it. But I honestly can't remember a time when we had such a great scenery already that was then um, done by another great developer. It's, it's, it's quite unusual. We've had quite a few rubbish sceneries that have then been done by somebody who knows what they're doing. Um, but... Uh, um, yeah, it's very very rare to have one, one great scenery developer head to head with another one so yeah we'll have a look i'll give you of course my honest opinion i've also taken before i installed this one i took some uh, screenshots of the uh uh this is i keep wanting to call him ben hansen which is uh, ridiculous what's his name henson finn finn henson <laughs> the finn henson orbex scenery 
So uh, hi guys, it is the Lord. I'll tell you now. There are things that I like more about that one. There are things that I like more about this one. Um, but we'll have the opportunity to to look at uh, look at those photos as we look around the, the photo. A lot of rubbish add-ons for MSF. But yeah, hasn't that hasn't that always been the way with every sim? Probably not to this extent though. I think it's just people see it as a cash cow and an opportunity to churn out any old rubbish, and people will buy it. Certainly in the early days, I think maybe the re residual uh, market is a little bit more discerning than uh, than. than the early adopters were, or the, the huge sweat, huge uh, swathes of uh, people who got it in the early days. I don't know. I don't know. Be interesting to see some figures. Right. So I, I've uh, I told Wojtek who's flying along that I'd be ready to depart a quarter past, uh, give or take. We're very much on track for that. I've done a lot of prep. I've done all of my performance figures, sorted my departure out. So I'm feeling very prepared. All we've really got to do is uh, is brief the first officer Tazzy on on the departure plan. Uh, run a couple of checklists, and once the boarding's done, we'll be we'll be ready to go. So I'll get that departure brief done now. I know now. I'm I'm sort of excited for Active Sky, but also having read what people have said about it, it does sound a little bit like they're still very constrained by what the MSFS weather system will allow them to do. And I'm slightly concerned that it's just going to be another Sky Force slash Environment Force, which tried really hard to solve the problem but ended up with some weird results we'll see we'll see i don't think hi-fi would release something that wasn't really good so i'm cautiously optimistic are you ready for the departure brief Hit. Okay, the newest weather shows good conditions. Plan to push and start for two engine taxi. There are no hot spots along our taxi route. It'll be a left seat takeoff and we'll be using radar. <laughs> we'll plan for a reduced thrust takeoff. It will not Quite be a one for any master warning, engine fire, know, like or failure. That will prevent the aircraft from flying heritage. safely, will abort and stop on the runway. After V1, we'll take it flying and deal with it in the air and plan to come back here. Any questions? No questions. Okay, that completes the brief. Paxim, I don't think I've actually got any of their scenery other than they're the ones who did uh, Inchian, right? I remember thinking Inchian was kind of impressive, but also a little bit not not up to the best at the time, and that was more recent than 2020. So, yeah. mm. he's not even here to take the abuse, missed opportunity. I know. I know he said he might be here, but I thought it was probably unlikely because it's uh, stupid o'clock in the morning. No worries, M Degree. No worries. Nice, nice to see you briefly. Um, thank you very much, Aaron. Hello, hello. Looking forward to the video. Good, 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 good. Um, yes, as I say, uh, so we're going to be pushing back in hopefully uh, six minutes' time. Oh, Brussels has turned up. Brussels approach. Mode standby till till uh, push. Oh, but I'm on auto. I would have thought it. Oh no, I'm not. I'm on. That'll be Tazzy messing around. Still, I'm glad he said something because uh, now we can we can get some clearance. Brussels arrival. One one eight decimal two five five. Hello, Wojtek. What did you decide to fly in the end? The new ones are good, but yeah, I felt like flying to Cleveland and forgot how bad the scenery was, didn't help life, flew for a very good MSP. Right, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's the worst, isn't it? When you fly, when you start off somewhere, somewhere really good and then you end up somewhere a bit rubbish. What do they call themselves? Brussels Arrival. What stand are we on? Beeline 9 Echo Uniform Hello, Information Brow is correct. Clear to Oslo and Nikki 3 Gold Departure, way 25 right. Miss Klein Flight Level 6 Zero, Spoke 7102. Nikki 3 Gold 25 right, initially Flight Level 6 Zero, Spoke 7102, Beeline 9 Echo Uniform. Beeline 9 Echo Uniform, Reback is correct. Start up is approved. Report ready for the push. 
Brussels arrival, good evening, Scandinavian 4744 on stand 149 right with Bravo, request clearance to Oslo, please. Scandinavian 4744, four, hello, information Bravo is correct. Nikki 3 Gold departures, runway 25 right, energy plan flight level 60, squawk 7117. Cleared to Oslo via the Nikki 3 Golf departure, runway 25 right, initial climb, flight level 60, squawking 7117, Scandinavian 4744. Scandinavian 4744, Ripek is correct, start to be approved, report ready for push. We'll go Scandinavian 4744. Brussels, very good evening, STL 9 Echo Uniform, uh, 7117. Uh, 146200, uh, requesting high parts, also please with uh, health activity for Astel 9 Echo Uniform is clear to destination via the Nikki 3 Golf departure on way 25 right. In Japan, flight level 60, Skok 7, 1, 2, 3. Right, flight level 60. Nikki 3 Golf uh, departure 25 right, initial climb will be uh, flight level 60. So it looks like all the passengers have boarded. And I suspect we just have the last few bags coming on board. And then we'll be good to go, good to go. Okay. He is in the chat, but you know what he's like. It's the we hear from him. Kill, kill, kill. Cockpit preparation checklist. Removed. Good Good Seven, five, nine, four kilograms. On. No. Behind six mic, gold information, bravo is correct, clear to destination by the so called three gold to pass your way to five lines, finish by five level of six zero, score one. Preparation check is completed. We are now preparing for departure, please select flight mode. The doors shut? No. Why is the cabin doors still open? The three gold departure, flight plan road, initial climb, flight level. I feel like it would be nice if the cabin crew shut that. Behind six mic, gold feedback is correct. Before the check where is retracted, really? But, uh, you know, I'm not here to tell them how to do their job, I'll just do it for them. Before start checklist. Booking break. Set. Take off speeds and thrust. V1, 1, 3, 7. VR, 1, 4, 0. V2, 1, 4, 0. Flex temp, 6, 1 degrees. Brussels, uh, 5, 9, echo, 1, 3, 7. VR, 1, 4, 0. V2, 1, 4, 0. Flex them, 6, 1, degrees, windows. EasyJet 228, thank Close. you for the follow, welcome. Right. Beacon. Reflex now, um, Astel uh, 9 How are you? Astel 9 Echo Uniform, push approved for AC, thank you. Before start completed. Push approved for AC, then 9 Echo Uniform. Scandinavian 4744, four, ready for push and start. Scandinavian 4744, push approved face east. Push approved face east, Scandinavian 4744. Four. Hey guys, so Paxo on board. Are we clear to close? Yes. Thanks. Yes. Let me know if you need anything. Ah, maybe that's what we're waiting for. Niner, watch, uh, climb up to 4000 feet, fly on the way ahead. Right, let's get going. There are no icing conditions. There are none. The temperature is uh, 7 degrees, uh, there is no moisture. We will start the engine. Start At least on the ground there. But given it's now clouded over, whereas it was clear, I probably ought to, uh, I probably ought to use anti-ice for, uh, for departure. Beeline under echo uniform, push approved, face east. Face east, beeline under echo uniform. Just, fly, just flying the A380. Nice. What in uh, P3 D is that? <laughs> Turn the French for the minute. Brussels, going from Brussels to Oslo. Please remove your headsets and pay close attention. You will find a summary of the information on the safety on board card in your seat pocket. Do, 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 do. Your seatbelt is fastened and open yeah, like this. Yeah, no, that's all good. Always keep it fastened whenever the I think. Sign is on. We recommend that you keep so I had a friend staying last night, and we watched the uh, the first two episodes of 2012, which I hadn't if seen needed, since it was first on. on. I don't know if any of you remember. Right heading zero seven zero. Adjust your strap to hold the oxygen mask. 
Secure your own oxygen mask first before helping others. You will find your life vest under your seat. Hold the vest over your head and pass the strap around. I just initialize my weights. Fasten the buckle and tighten the strap. When leaving through the exit, I like to leave that these days until after pushback because it gives you something to do while you're waiting for the uh, for the second engine to start. You know. The emergency exits are located in the aft, over the wings, and in the forward part of the cabin. Doesn't seem to be starting. I don't know why. Lights in the aisle will guide you to the exits. Fifty-six point two. I'm joking, of course. I just forgot about it, as I seem to do quite regularly. Uh, Thirty point eight. If you're charging the electronic equipment, be sure to monitor your device during charging. Your GSX profile is a meme. Hey, what's it done? Does it push you back the wrong way or something? Smoking and the use of electronic cigarettes is not allowed in the worst. Lights, including in the lavatories. The crew is on there is a good one for this airport. We wish you a pleasant Didn't push you onto the tech. Oh, God. I can send you mine if you want once we are on your way from the mine. Right, so we have two good engine starts. Engine mode selector back to normal. AP bleed off. AP off. And once Taz has finished his uh, bits and bobs, we'll do the checklist. After the start check, this check. Off. He gets the Checked. Bitch room. 30% set. Bradit room. Neutral. After the start check, this copy. Flight control check. Ready. Full up. Full down. Neutral. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Rudder. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Right. Tazzy will now do his flight control checks. As you can see here, this is what's going on. This is FS2 crew for uh, the Phoenix, by the way. I absolutely love it. I think it's... Uh, yeah, it brings so much more immersion than just flying on your own. It's not quite Clear as good side. as doing a shared Clear right with someone who knows what they're doing, of course, but it's a close second. Scandinavian 4744, ready for taxi. Scandinavian 4744, taxi holding point Bravo, 1V outer 7, QNH 1009. Taxi holding point Bravo, via outer 7, QNH 1009, or Scandinavian 4744. Can I have in 4744 confirm holding point at Bravo 1 via outer 7? Holding point Bravo 1 via outer 7, Scandinavian 4744. V-Line 6 my Golf, request taxi, Able Bravo 3. V-Line 6 my go. Golf, taxi via the outer holding point Bravo 3, Kinesh 1009. Russia 0. Taxi to holding point Bravo 3 via the outer and QNH 1009. V-Line 6 my Golf. What do you mean, Voitech? Do they just push straight back or something? Yeah? You know, he told me to face east, so it can't be that far. Bilain 9, Echo Uniform, Roger, Taxi, Alter 6, via Alter Skin Edges, 1009. Alter 6, Skin Edges, 1009, and confirm Bravo 1, Bilain 9, Echo Uniform. I'll further text you in a bit. Well, when I arrived here early, because I did the outbound lane just in, uh, Discord, um, the performance was dreadful, worse than I ever remember it being here at uh, Brussels. But I hadn't updated the Phoenix, and now it's, uh, it's kind of good. Uh, 1009 uh, for the QNH and the Bravo 1 via Outers, uh, still 9 Echo Uniform. Catching no vacancies, indeed. I've moved it out at Paul's request so it's so, so that it can be fully in the background. Um, they were quite a lot more active earlier, but I think probably you're just going to get to watch them sleep. We don't fix my goals, confirm that they are reaching. Flight controls. Check. Check. Flap 7. Conflict 1 plus S. 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 Conflict 1 plus S.
Eco memo. Take off no blue. Taxi check this copy. Except for the cabin, cabin to go. Scan the Navy in 4744 via Bravo 1, line up and wait, runway 25 right. Via Bravo 1, line up and wait, runway 25 right, scan the Navy in 4744. Very expeditious departure today. Two fifty two eight nine confirm established. Established LS two five left. Takeoff runway confirmed. Two fifty two eight nine eight four zero three six not flying two five left. Kitland. Kitland runway two. Come crew be seated for takeoff. Why is the cabin not ready? Brothers approach to today a B line two eight two for east. B line two eight two Brussels arrival hello did you find? Crew take your seats. On the B-Line, I'm 282, request an airfare clearance to Budapest information for Budapest, Sopok, 3 Gold Departure, and 25 right, finish by level 6-0. It's Sopok interesting that the, there's clearly supposed to be water on the runway, and I'd say it's also supposed to be raining, or certainly... GSX vehicles thought it was raining because they all had their windscreen yeah, markers going to. Beline 2 Rebecca is correct. Startup is approved. Time report ready for push. Hey, that is Cam's good. Start up approved. That will go on Beline 2A2. Good, thank you. Uh, Beline, any record uniform from Phoenix X holding point. Uh, Bravo 1 via Inner Right, confirmed. Continue Runway 2 5 Right, confirmed. It's quite the quite yes. rush now. TAI. Are still line echo uniform taxi holding point Bravo. Line up, check this copy. Your number 3 for departure. They will take Bravo 3, B line on echo uniform. B line 6, my goal is passing 1600 for 6000. B line 6, my goal, radar contact, climb flight level 70. Well, there's a Rotterdam approach on that. Climb flight level 70, B line 6, my goal. Scandinavian 4744, wind 340 degrees 6 knots, runway 25. Take off. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 25 right, Scandinavian 4744. Let's go. Manflex 61, SRS, runway 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 one to two decimal eight to be that six mark or thanks for service, bye bye. Eighty knots. KB line nine echo uniform uh one hundred knots. Just check the rate runway two five right in number one. A line of rate two five right to be line that be for E one. Hello approach this is uh shamrock six three I mean windy uh, kilo with information Charlie on board requesting clearance please. Positive climb. Uh, Shamrock 63 kilo, no flight plan received, sir. You're up. Timbuk2 radar, Jeff. Hello. Thank you very much, boss. Timbuk2 How are you? Timbuk2 radar just subscribed. Boss, boss, Jeff, Bo 14, boss. I know, boss. I know. Sorry, could you say that again, please? Shamrock 63 kilo, no flight plan received. Oh, look at this. This is a pog departure. I'll just hand fly it around this here corner. Then we'll get the autopilot on and we'll have, hopefully, some exterior views that Can aren't just the cloud. Climb flight level 7-0. Climb flight level 7-0, Scandinavian 4744. 2-2-8-9-8, squawk mode, Charlie, until left the gate. Squawk mode, Charlie, to left the gate. Boom! And just, just a glimpse of the Brussels airport surrounds before we disappear into the cloud. Just. <laughs> Extreme rain today. Oh, really? 
In, um, in, uh, Dubai. Or are you away somewhere? Bye. 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 Good. Tie you away, really. Steve, hello. How are you? Another one long time no see. How's life? And, and Alexander. My God, the whole the whole world's coming to you tonight. Nice to see you. How's life? Have you done Have you done your solo? Have you done it? I can't remember when it was. I know I know it was coming up, but I can't remember when. I'm glad it's over, boss. Yeah. Good. Glad you're well. Glad you're well. Set standard. Standard cross check. Passing flight level zero six one. There's only quite a thin check. layer of clouds. Clear right now. Okay. Got school off today and tomorrow. Oh, that's something. Because and that's because of the rain and flooding, is it? No, it keeps getting held off because of the weather annoyingly. Yeah. It's annoying. It's annoying. Uh, where are we going up to? Flight level 370, I believe. So when was the last time you were able to fly then, Alexander? Bosh. And there we are. We can sit back. Relax, enjoy the flight, not a lot else to worry about really. What I'll do is I'll find some nice tunes for us uh, to uh, to enjoy the climb out with. Stand by. Jun Seng, hello, how are you? Another old familiar face on YouTube, very nice to see you. Oh, you know what we haven't had for ages? I've forgotten what it's called. My favourite playlist. Stand by. I will find it. Not rocking for decade. Ah, Retro Riviera. That's it. We haven't had this for a long, long time. We've had this particular few bars, of course. <laughs> Not yet, boss, but there are plans afoot. There are plans afoot for this Christmas to have it as one of the uh, boarding music choices in the BAE 146. Gusting 60, good grief. Oh, so, okay, so you have been able to get up, but it's just been quite, it's just been not good enough to say that. I remember that feeling well. I remember that feeling well. Well, if you're ever at a loose end down London way, you're welcome to come flying with me in the meantime, boss. I've yet to take my first passenger, but it's probably going to happen next Monday, I think. Probably. Everyone just sitting here waiting for another insignificant update on uh, PMG777. <laughs> yeah. All fly Dubai flights departing Dubai cancelled till 10 a.m. tomorrow. Oh gosh. But are the flights still departing despite the gusts? Right, I want to have a look at windy.com now. For Dubai. Let's see what the hell's going on. Oh yeah. Yeah, it does look like the worst. Can you see historic weather on Windy? You know, flight by first officer is bound for Karachi. All oh, right. Gosh. 
Indy.com historic weather. Is that, why is that not a thing? No, can't do it. Uh, airfield's been terrible though, horrible and boggy. Did the run-up checks and just started scooting about in the mud. <laughs> grim. Grim. <laughs> right, let's get the seatbelts off. We can probably, I should think, turn off the uh, engine anti-ice now. Yeah, minus 13. And, you know, not much more moisture left. Oh, hello. Amsterdam radar one two five seven five zero. Yeah, I am quite thankful for the big long concrete runway we have at uh, Northfield. Best land you'll ever do on your solo, and of course no witnesses. Do you know my first? Yeah, my first solo circuit was just beautiful. And then when I started doing more of them, they started getting shall we say a little bit more variable and it drove me mad because I was like but I can land nicely why aren't I landing nicely and I went through a long period of not being able to land nicely at all ever um, and now you know now I've sort of I have the odd dodgy one but now Amsterdam Radar, good evening, Scandinavian 4744, climbing through flight level 205. Scandinavian 4744, Amsterdam Radar, climb to flight level 330. Climb to flight level 330, Scandinavian 4744. Bonsoir, Radar, good evening, Bonsoir, Tutu Tango. Two stations, B-Line 9 or Echo Uniform, hello. Climb you have to, to judge your land in Agri, yes you do. Yes, that's, yeah, that's, that's true. true. And now, as an aggregate, they're all right. <laughs> but there was a long period when, when they weren't. Niner, Niner, Charlie, contact approach one two one two zero five. Good day. Approach one two one two zero five. Hello, one two. Can I put the tango after shuttle the next year? Papa Lima. Simon! Other Simon! All the Simons are here now. Good evening to you, how's okay. life? <laughs> no, not yet, not yet. I, I, good evening, I have now joined um, uh, the, uh, the, the Northfield Flying Group as opposed to hiring aircraft to the school. Um, so. Niner Echo Uniform, I I'm sort of hoping to get my feet under the table there and then maybe persuade them to repaint one of the aircraft and re-register it, maybe. Uh, climb table 300 attending attack uh, 9 Echo Uniform. Thank you. November Bravo Kilo, contact approach 121 to 1205. I'll just show. I'll just send them some screenshots, you know, of the uh, of the one five two in MSFS, and say, look, it's cool. This would be even cooler on a real plane, on a real one seventy. Just came home from university, directly jumping into the stream. Good. You've got your priorities correct, then, boss. How was uh, how was uni? Good evening, Lufthansa two zero nine. I wish you at flight level one two zero. Lufthansa 209 or Amsterdam Radar, good day. Clear to Romeo Kilo November to Alpha Arrival. Expect so I let's have a quick look at Volanta and uh, see what our route looks like. And see how True Duen and uh, Wojtek are getting on. I think they're the only two flying on this evening, I think. Swiss 15 Mike, stand by. So, here's Brussels. All stations, stand by, I'm waiting for a readback. 
the Santa Two Zero Nine is out of departure, climbing uh, out to the north. To Alpha, right? And uh, uh, yeah, we are right, now in uh, Amsterdam Radar's uh, airspace, as you can see. We have Voitech here. Tree to end there. Now there, okay, so Trudewen is immediately behind me, and then Voitech behind him. Looks like good spacing so far. What does the D mean? Which is delivery, okay. Yeah. Neither do I, Voite. I've not heard this call sign before, is it? As still minor echo uniform, for the remainder of your flight, you need to be cruising at an old level. Report your requested level. And we're prepared for uh, subcontent 310, uh, still not echo uniform. Niner echo uniform, report your clamp to flight level 310. So to connect CPDLC. Ah, right, okay. Would you have the Iron Maiden style face on the tip? Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Good evening. Speedbird 1 Delta Lima passing for level 270 overhead 10 Lee. Speedbird 1 Delta Lima, hello. Plant flight level 320. Plant flight level 320. Oh, was this, was this in between Sabina and Brussels Airlines? 1976 Zulu Uniform Amsterdam, plant flight level 250. Fly level 250 open. I remember them, actually. Very unusual fleet for a flag carrier. 3A319s, 3A330s. 14 Avro RJ85s, 12 Avro RJ100s, and 6 BA146200s. Don't you get many flag carriers with that many small planes, do you, in a European capital? Please have a Yankee, correct. Proceed direct R tip and cross R tip level 100. I'm sorry, I had to take the car because when I have courses in late PIM, there's no train that takes me all the way home anymore. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, Praveen, hello, welcome, boss. How are you? What are you laughing at, Jeff? Oh, the tail, you're talking the 152. Oh, the, uh, oh, I see the fleet, yeah, I know. Do I have a photo of the, uh... For those who haven't seen it, of my uh, 152 in my house livery. I don't know if I do. I feel like I probably do. Let me have a look at Volanta, see if it's in there. I might have even been flying it pre Volanta though, you know. ec 3446 Monopoly Unicorn 12.8, further climb for Unicorn. Also, I did, if we're honest, have quite a few planes registered, G Filbert. Get an APN 4744, climb to flightable P70. Climb to flight level 370, Scandinavian 4744. Batavia 22 Tango, Monty Unicorn 1 to 2 Decimate. Unicorn 1 to 2 Decimate, I know. No, I don't. I don't have any pictures in there. Damn it. Anyway. When I have it painted in IR for real, then I'll show you. Uh, Roger for the moment, 1 to 2, okay, then uh, 2 to Lufthansa 209er, check standard altimeter, QNH 1013. Yes, Preferly, what's, uh, what's the latest with you? Lufthansa 209er, check standard nice, altimeter, nice QNH 1013. Standard altimeter, Lufthansa 209er, uh, should, should we go at flight level 140? Negative, maintain flight level 120. Flight level 120, standard 209er. Get on 22 Tango, contact approach on band 1205. Good dag. Good dag. Pila 9er Echo Uniform, copy the climb to fly the ball 350. Nine planes and two leaves. What happened to their fleet? Did they all just get too old and they couldn't afford to replace it or what? Otavia 1 Yankee, good dag, climb to fly the ball 330. Climb to 330, what happened to Yankee? Lufthansa 4 Hotel Hotel, Monte Unicorn Band, 2 Dash Moy. Speedbird 1 Delta Lima, clear direct, Abnet. Direct, Abnet, Speedbird 1 Delta Lima. Speedbird 
Good for 8 Hotel Yankee, proceed direct Shugo, descend level 70 to cross Shugo at level 100. Uh, descend to side level 70 to cross Shugo at one, one, uh, side level 100 and direct Shugo to refer to Hotel Actually, actually, if I look in my YouTube history, I should be able to find it in the middle of the Started off with it in a standard livery. Here it is! It's not the best view of it. But, for those of you who want to know how I want a real plane painted, this is it. This is what it should look like. Hopefully we can get a good front on view. Oh, did I not start using it in, in the actual thing? Is it just... It's not it, is it? No, I just carried on with the original paint scheme. Presumably for immersion. Ooh. Why are we, look, why are we looking at pimples being popped? Very weird suggestion. Anyway, yeah, it gives you an idea. Although I wasn't, it wasn't that immersive that uh, that thing. I mean, we were flying up the River Thames under various bridges. Hello, V Pile. How are you? It has? Has? What's the latest? What have you been working on? Get him, please, up in Yankee, descend side of all 70. After Archer, direct Papa Alpha Mike. Papa Alpha Mike. Descend to 70 now, and uh, after Archer, direct uh, Pompous, and still 100 <laughs> at the. Uh, Thank you, sir. It did confuse me. Oh, really? Nice! Nice. I look forward to seeing that, because V1 was pretty good. Cartagena, that is, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Did we go to Cartagena? For your information, traffic information at your south of Clock. Yeah, we did. Um, I'd love to. Approximately, um, yeah, I'd love to go back there, definitely. Yeah. I have to be honest, I have a bit of a backlog. Um, because I just haven't had that much time to stream uh, so recently. So. Uh, I'd love to go there, I just can't promise when it'll be on stream because uh, um, I haven't, still haven't done a stream at Luton, haven't done um, Abu Dhabi, so I ought to do a couple of them. I've got La Guardia to do, I've got a New Zealand, a new New Zealand scenery to take a look at as well. So I'd absolutely love to, but I'll add it to the list, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I missed that. Who was that? Thank you very much, whoever the hell that was. Confirm your uh, also indicates 1,000 Oh, Nick! Hello! Good morning to you too. Yeah, it's been a while, and thank you ever so much for the re uh, resub. I appreciate it. Where did we go there from? Remember, this could be out. Let me look at my flights list. Like, according to Volanta, the last time I, I went there was May 22. Uh, we went from Bogota to Quito and uh, and then back. Ah, oh, you know what it is. You know what it is, V Pilot. I, w I did go there in 2022. I streamed it on Twitch and I had a dreadful landing at Quito. And, and I tended to keep all of my Twitch streams private on YouTube. But we were talking about things that went wrong in my previous streams. And um, and so I made that one public so that people could watch it. So it was a recent video. Or it, was, it was a recently uploaded, recently made public on YouTube, but actually it was years ago. We went Sorry. Oh, do you want that? The lawnmower of Kita, indeed, indeed. Uh, Niner zero four three six. What is your destination? I thought I'd just forgotten the flight. But... 
Now, for those of you who haven't flown this Scandinavian livery for the Phoenix... 046, I cannot oh, uh, hear you was, very well. I was going to uh, show you the incredible cabin. Uh, low. And it's changed. Your destination it's still this. incredible, but it's different having updated it to how it was before. But the detail up here is amazing. Nine, plan to fly level 250. It's really good. Between, between this and the uh, and the boarding sounds and the different sound packs people have done for different airlines, I think the A320, Phoenix A320, is jumping ahead in terms of anything else when it comes to immersion. Yeah, please be out. I don't know where she's gone. I thought she was settled in for the night, but apparently not. Ah, Rochester, Ryanair 046. In that case, I have an old flight plan from you, and I understood that you are going to Upnet. Please resend your flight plan. Ah, Ryanair 046. I am trying to update my flight plan right now, but it doesn't let me do in back to the flight. So my request is answered. Okay, Ryanair 046. Can you try a different call sign, like Ryanair 047, and then try to refile your flight plan? Now SFS has released their new goofy looking aeroplane. Pila 9 Echo Uniform will feel the clamp of flight of all three sides here. Now, I can't play this, believe it or not, because I'm streaming on YouTube and they will do me for copyright if I do. But what I'll do is... <laughs> I think all I can do, really, is show a few, a few bits from it and scrub backwards and forwards a little bit. So let's do that. This is V2 of Bogota. Coming soon. What was that first airport you gave me? That was, it was when I. It was very early in my streaming career. And we flew in there, and I can't remember where it was, but it was really good. It had a beautiful approach around some mountains. Ooh, this is impressive. Yeah, I'll watch it later. I'll stick it in the Discord. Well. Uh, Flight level 130, inbound. <laughs> that is a fair point. It is lacking a coffee machine. FedEx one seven two six, clan side level two five zero. Clan side level two five zero, FedEx one seven two six. Thank you. Better no video. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Squawk two seven six seven. Nice. That looks good. Looks very good. What is? This is unusual. Oh, it's for the fire engines, right. Scandinavian 4744, continue Unicorns on to the Smoyt and your flight to Oslo Garden. Is that for me? Uh, Unicorn for Scandinavian 4744, thank you very much. Speedbird 48. Good. Unicorn. And peace. Oh, that's a nice shot. Yeah, I look forward to seeing that. Good. Ooh, Air Transat, there's a thought. Montreal, I presume. Do we have Montreal? Yeah, we do have Montreal now, don't we? NK Studios. Montreal to Cartagena. Could be good. Do, do, do. Cool. Yeah, I look forward to seeing it. Was. Right, having had Retro Riviera, which I which I always enjoy, we're going to have the Retro Jazz playlist, which is another corker from the very early days. 24 minutes of this sort of thing. That's right, Rio Negro Medellin, that was it, yeah. Yeah, it was good. Rich with the stream when? One day, boss. One day. I have it. I haven't looked at it yet. But I, uh, I will. Can't tell you too, yeah. What did I call it? Something else. Oh, yeah, I called it Bogota. Nice. Yeah. yeah, sorry, I got muddled up. So I got muddled up. So we went to Bogota two years ago. This is Cartagena. It has a very similar ICA, uh, uh, ICAO code. That was my confusion, my apologies.
Like, whenever, whenever you like, Maple. It's, it's a complete, it's, a, it's very, well, not entirely complete, but there's a, there's a pretty substantial cargo network and some uh, cargo planes ready to fly in. We're leaving Voitech behind. Ooh, maybe, but that's a pog shot. That is a really nice shot. Voitech, very nice. This is uh, Voitech and Friedman. Very nice. Well, this is looking really good. I feel like it's looking better than mine, I don't know why. Could just be the lighting. Maybe you're flying in real time or something. Lifetime, rather. Whereas I'm simulating a morning flight, which is, you know, coming up to midday. Oh, with the Dawny A31, right. 12 hours behind real time. Oh, okay, so it's an early morning-ish flight. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember flying to Montenegro. I don't do enough flying in South America. I should do more. Or Central America. Either. Or really anywhere in America. <laughs> I'd really like some more, some more really good US airports as well. We have some really nice ones, but not enough to do substantial flying in the US with real routes and real planes at the moment. Compared with Europe, anyway. Now, if you're watching on YouTube and you're enjoying the video, I'd love it if you click the like button and subscribe, that would help massively. Um, if you're watching on Twitch, I would love it if you click the uh, follow button if you're not already following. And of course, should you wish to, you could also support the channel with a donation or by, subs by, subscribe by subscribing on uh, Twitch or becoming a member on YouTube. These are also options. But no pressure. Stream announced. No, yes, that's me. All right, some pressure. <laughs> Ah, uh, seeing as you've done that, I'll see if the uh, YouTube one's working. You can't... can't I, I can't comment on your stream for some reason. It says I need to be a sub for one minute or more. You have been a sub for one minute or more, haven't you? Also, I thought I'd turn that off. Hmm, that's weird. Is anyone else having trouble commenting on YouTube? Bizarre. Ah, nice to see you over there as well. Um, yeah, so I didn't stream on YouTube for quite a long time because I thought I'd better pick one and uh, Twitch was going better. But now, because Twitch allows you to, to multi-stream um, as, as an affiliate, there's no reason not to, basically. Right, I don't know how to do this, really. Like YouTube Studio, it should have a thing where you where you where you uh, manage your stream, and I can't can't find it. Maybe I could exit from the from the stream page itself. It is allowed now, yeah.
settings? Is it there? No. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Other people seem to be able to talk there, but yeah. Goodness only knows. Yeah, for about, I think it's been allowed for about six months, something like that. Oh, here we are. I found the YouTube live dashboard. That's probably a good thing, right? Monetization details. I don't wish to change that. Leave that as is. Uh, low latency. Yeah, that's what we normally use. Stream settings. Nothing about moderation or anything like that. Oh, it doesn't even think I'm live. Ah, oh, what's well, just stupid. It's stupid YouTube, I don't understand it. If you go to the YouTube live dashboard, I would have thought it would show me the, like, the stream that I'm currently doing rather than... Oh, I don't bloody know. I hope I haven't stopped the stream. No, I haven't. Good. Very odd. Oh, I have a company message. Are they going to whinge at me about delays or... Because I thought I was on time, to be honest. Ah, yeah, no ABC required. Good. Maybe don't contact me if something's not required, just contact me if it is. No? If anyone else watching on YouTube is, is struggling to uh, to type for whatever reason, then come over. I'd be, well, I'd, I'd appreciate it if you'd come over to Twitch and tell me, because if it's if it's a general thing, then it's something I need to look into. If it's just Voitech, probably uh, just treat it as one of those things for this one stream at least. Yeah, it probably is a bug. Welcome to Philbert Sets, the portion of today's stream dedicated to messing with settings. <laughs> not even, but yet not even able to do that properly. Handcrafted airport in City Update 6. Wait, everyone keeps making reference to it but not saying what it is. Ah, oh, you did! EDNY. What's that? Is that Friedrichs have? EDNY airport. Friedrichs have Nice! Nice! I think I already have a payware for it, but still. Be good for people who don't have a payware. Such a beautiful day, it's almost criminal to have to go to work. Yeah. Yeah. Not ideal. Oh, is it Aerosoft, right? Yeah, maybe it will be then. Maybe it will be. I always end up I always end up going to the other side of the lake when I'm down that way. That's quite a selection of you read your That's right, it does. I knew there was a reason, reason I bought it. That was probably it. <laughs> I'm thinking for an upcoming stream, once I've got through all of these new Blimmin' releases, 
<laughs> I might do I might do a Eurigio BA146 flight from Oslo to Brom or vice versa. Haven't been to Brom for a while. Oh yeah, we have left uh, Wojtek a fair way behind. <laughs> Me too, it's made it. It's, it's finished it off, isn't it, the 156, 146 update. It's just made it, it's made it the plane it always should have been, I guess. Oh, the 146 is probably, it's more different to anything else than the A300 is. It's got quite, it's, it's quite unique. So I would start with that one, personally. have the UNS. Yeah, they, 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 I haven't heard as, as so much about it of late. But yeah, I'd have thought they would get round to it, wouldn't you? My wallet hopes that it better doesn't because then I would want it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's nice, Rudy. That's a lovely shot. Lovely evening light. Forgive me yawning. I've had too many late nights and poor nights sleep lately. I'm just going to nip to the loo and uh, probably grab another beer and I shall be back shortly.
Hello. I'm back. Don't have. Oh, it's not a command. It's a sound alert, boss. So you have to go to the sound alert box below the video. Oh, the lighting's gone weird. I look all blue. I don't know why. Huh. How bizarre. Wait. Good enough. Henrik, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? Looked like you couldn't figure out my name right. I couldn't for a minute, yeah. <laughs> Enric for hard Nitro. I mean, I can't. <laughs> oh my god, Cat just nuked his litter box. Oh, grim. Grim, grim, grim. I wish they'd just go in the garden. Morris just goes in the garden. It is another language, and mean Henrik. Why do you have nitro? Ah, okay. For, for how, n n n okay. What language is it? Is it? Is it Croatian? I don't know why I think that. Might not be. Just a guess. Have I tried railroad? Yes, I have. I have. I have. Got quite into it, then just lost interest a little bit. Like it like happens with pretty much every game I've ever played, other than flight simming. Oh, it's Danish. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I told you it was a fairly random guess. It was the HV. The HV. You get that in Croatian. I hadn't seen it in any other language. Popped up the chat into a separate window and you can comment now. How weird. Oh. Well. Good. How long till top of descent? Uh, let's have a look. 10.14 sim time, so 25 minutes and 20 seconds. Without knowing any Danish, it would probably separate into Vor for hard U nitro. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Hard, yeah, maybe, maybe. Danish, you say it like this, Henrik, or for, like wherefore? How do you know? Right, yeah, yeah, get it, get it. So it was the HV then together. How do yeah? If a stale call sign gives Polaris a headache, I might just use a Brussels call sign in the future. Also, he might just log off seeing me. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it. Luke, hello. It has been a while. Yeah. How are you? It's been a while because I haven't been streaming on YouTube, basically. 
But yeah, nice to see you, boss. Welcome back. You already got to go again, unfortunately. Ah, oh, shame. But yeah, nice, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Hope to see you on another one soon. Hope to do another one soon and see you. One of my friends is stuck in Huntsville, Alabama on his last leg of the day before his weekend. Oh my god, that sucks. Is there anything uh, anything nice to do in Huntsville, uh, Alabama? It's Alabama. <laughs> I imagine, I imagine being America there are limited ways out unless you have a car there, right? That Xbox thing been taking screenshots of the chat window rather than the sim. It's a little annoying. My cost index is six, boss. Hence, a bit slow. Yeah, no, good thinking. Yeah, good thinking. We are quite close, actually, aren't we? Mm. All right for now, actually. Probably the best part of 20 miles between us, isn't there? Okay, I will now take music requests. We can have an era or a genre, or if you know my playlists, you can request one of my playlists. This is all Epidemic Sounds, uh, which is all we can play on YouTube. So. Uh, it's no one you'll ever heard of, you'll ever have heard of, but that doesn't mean it's not good. Polka! Straight in there. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, is it nine? According to Tico's. Okay, yeah. Maybe, uh, I can speed up a little bit if you want, I guess. Or you can slow down a bit, or both. Let's give ourselves a cost index of 12. Let's say we're running a bit, a bit late or what have you. It'll be fine. Okay. Too late, I've done it. Here we have a whole genre for polka. Alice Goot Polka. What's the what's the highlighted bit? What's the highlighted bit? Nice. A C on this leg, isn't there? We were a little bit closer to Denmark last time. We might be able to see a bit of Denmark this way. Yeah, there we are. That's a bit of land.
Oh, I see you're playing Railroad in na now, Nick. How are you getting on with it? How far along are you? Most of the map, pretty much at the limit of what a single person can play, and it actually be fun. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not bad. Well, if I'm around and you need a second pair of hands, I'd be happy to help. Might need some reminding of how everything works, but yeah, aside from that. Plenty of work. Okay. Hi, right, boss. You're going to head off. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming along. And uh, yes, I hope your uh, hope your sale happens very soon, boss. Nice to see you. Photo of Smudge trying to get out of a scolding for being on top of herself. Shelf she shouldn't be. <laughs> oh, it's amazing, isn't it? I mean, we all know, we all know that there is absolutely no point scolding cats, and yet, and yet we all continue to do it because you've got to do something. She's got such a sweet face and such a funny face as well. I couldn't scold her, I don't think. <laughs> I feel like maybe she managed to get out of it as well. You couldn't surely be cross at that face for long. <laughs> uh, Polaris, all right then, 118875. Juliet, consider that right the valve the landing zero one left, report ready for it. Direct the uh, valve to landing zero one left, report ready for it. Can I end up with you? Laris Control, good evening, Scandinavian 4744 at flight level 370 in Van Pipex. Scandinavian 4744, Laris, good uh, evening, proceed direct to Valpe. Victor Alpha Lima Papa Uniform, landing 01 right. Proceed direct Valpu and landing 01 right, Scandinavian 474. Ooh, that's a long way off. Scandinavian 1326, airborne Sweet. passing 2500. Landing 01 right, where well, we had a 50 chance. Taxi squad and device land flight level 280. Land level 280, uh, zero. Can I have a 1330? 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 Oh, 
Right, Valpu, Nosler, Zemon. Is that right? That doesn't feel right somehow. Nosler, Zemin. Yeah, that is right. Nosler, Zemin, and then Runway Zero. I'm right. Cool, cool. Probably she knows she's adorable, I know. That's how they get, that's how they get away with so much, I suppose. As she's staying to myself. <laughs> Uh, right, I guess it's probably time to start setting up for the arrival, so let's uh, you have control. give control to Tree Duran, get the latest ATIS and such like. First scan the Raven 1328, proceed direct, who's good? Transition level is 85. Um, turn back once before it is scan the level 1326. Ja, det var meg som så litt feil på tallene her. Skal jeg endre ut 1, 3, 2, 6. Prøv å si det er ikke uskugg. Wind, 3, 5, 0, 1. 3, 2, 6. Skal jeg endre ut 1, 4, 1, 2, 2, push. En start av proof. Kun 1, skal 1, 1, 0, 0, 4. ATC is a bit loud, isn't it? I'm turning down as much. Load it control. Skal jeg endre ut 4, 2, 6. Kun 1, 1, 0, 0, 4. Temperature 7, minus 7. And barrier minima. Ah, not right yet. Blocked. Gender 1898, Unicorn 1298. Alright, good. Unicorn 1298. Can I have a one three three zero passing flat? I'll do it four thousand two hundred feet. Can there be one three three zero? So we have wind three four zero one knot. It's kind of okay. Very good. Golf mic seven fifty. Time flight level one hundred and confirm golf mic seven two two. Correct. The direct golf mic seven two two. Airport altitude is six hundred and seventy one feet. That's the touchdown altitude. And minimums, as I said, are oh, it's a minimum. Are you ready for the arrival brief? Go ahead. Our current weather shows nice VFR conditions. And we've got the arrival and approach for guidance in FMS for descent planning to get down to the airport. It'll be an ILS approach. The runway is dry, and we'll take the first available turn and taxi to the gate per ATC instructions. Once cleared, we can plan to start the APU for taxi in. Any questions? No questions. Brief complete. I have control. You have control. Scan the one three three zero. Continue climb flight level two eight zero. Continue climb flight level two eight zero. Scan the one three three zero. I think this might be about as much polka as I can take. Well, uh, it was a good choice, don't get me wrong, no, no criticism intended. But, you know, it's a limit. They get a bit samey, don't they? Let's see what's new in classical. Does answer indeed, Wojtek. Well said, well said. Scan the road for it. Two Roger, taxi link point Alpha 3, and we're here on left via foot 10 and November. Scan the road for 1, 3, 3, 0, direct Uskug. Direct Uskug, scan the road for 1, 3, 3, 0. Yeah. 
in June should do it. What's happening in June, boss? And it's, it's PHL. Do we have a Philadelphia scenery? American is starting that route, it'll run June through October. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, we do! Of course, we have the MK one. I don't think I have it. I'll have to ask for a copy. Yeah, I think they forgot me for that one. That'll be a pog rate. Why can't I one. give some? Oh! My magazine! That's very nice of you! Thank you very much! For the uh, the ten uh, ten lotty, why can't you give it? Is, uh, is this you, Void Tech? Is this your uh, is this your magazine that we weren't allowed to know the name of? I don't know why you can't give subs. Well, you can give subs on Twitch, YouTube. You can give. You should be able to give memberships, but I don't know why you can't. Don't know. Let's celebrate your first super on a live stream. How do we do that? Says <laughs> maybe I just say woo. Thank you for your first super boss. <laughs> Lex Russ, how are you? Nice to see you back. Do I? Ah, oh, I, I, there we are. I gave it some love. Oh, I said error, try again. I tried to give it some love. Now it says message retracted. Why does it say message retract? Level seven, you get QOTs and flight level one hundred. Maybe to take that flight IRL in August. Oh, really? Maybe we should Ten try and make four four Juliet. These have flight. Maybe we should 100. make the uh, the club fill the meet up happen. Level one hundred. Can Good evening, STL 9 Echo Uniform, Level 3 Uniform, Polaris, good evening, clear the heat pump, 3 Lima, arrival, landing, zero one hundred. Clear for the, confirm this is the VIPA 3 Lima, arrival for uh, zero one right, STL uh, 9 Echo Uniform. Affirm the heat pump, 3 Lima, arrival. Roger that, uh, 9 Echo Uniform. My birth of the heat to fly to either Frankfurt or Munich. Take the train to Hamburg for a few days and then train to Copenhagen for a few days and then home. Nice! Plus 7, Juliet, Kilo, Posi Direct, Nosla, Season 5000 feet, Tonight, 1004. Hola, Mark, que tal? Por que hablamos en español? Claro que si. That's not a wing, that's a wing. What's weird, not, not being able to give memberships, you mean? I'm just really impressed that the uh, sound alert worked for the for the donation, for the uh, super chat. I'm sure they didn't before. Ah, oh, you managed it! Thank you, boss! Thank you very much, boss, for all the gifted memberships. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. 
I thought I'd solve this so we had one alert for all gifted memberships, but obviously not. So I'm just going to turn them off for a minute. Just for a minute. Because <laughs> otherwise it'll go non-stop. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much for the 10 gifted subs. I appreciate it. Really odd that, this, that popping out of the chat would have any effect at all. But there you go. Beautiful tune, but it's really Hello, depressing. Yeah, that's what Jeff was talking about earlier when he was in here. Scandinavian 4744 request to send. Why he not talk to me? 11474 descend flight level 250 free speed. Descend flight level 250 free speed, Scandinavian 4 I just I think YouTube is a bit of a meme streaming platform. Yeah, that's amazing considering yeah, it just doesn't rain in the Emirates, does it? Nine Echo Uniform, proceed direct to Valtu. Direct to Valtu, S tail nine Echo Uniform. Why do they call them S tail? Oh, because Sabina's on the tail. Yes, it's on the tail. Can I want to get to Flores identified? Can fly at level two nine zero. I do indeed stream Flying Plen. Nice to see you. Thank you very Captain much for the resub, boss. Appreciate it. Subscribed. Oh my, oh my. You stream Flying Plen once again, <laughs> Phil, but you Morris Coggins. Indeed, indeed. How are you, boss? This is all very, very Yeah, I've been alright. Tired. Tired. Long, few long days. But yes, I've been alright other than that. I flicked my mouse across the cockpit and I pressed something accidentally. made a crunching sound. Can't see what it was. <laughs> oh, it, it, there's a thing where you click on the yoke, which I think when you're on the ground... applies a control lock of some sort, or something along those lines. But I don't think it does anything near, but that makes a crunching noise, if I remember right. Look at me looking down as if I'm expecting to see a yoke there. <laughs>
Oh, upside down. <laughs> Mighty Marsh, hello, how are you? Nine nine echo uniform beach um flying. When one four six straight, well that kind of got pushed back because of this new airport and then I have to do LaGuardia, I've got pre LaGuardia. Decent flight level one two zero is gonna need in four seven four four. And then I've got to do something in New Zealand. Uh, for NZA's new scenery, we'll do something there. Uh, so I don't know, is the honest answer? Goodness only knows. Your guess is as good as mine. Let's get rid of these uh, speed constraints. Uh, request clearance to Stockholm, Holland. Can the Raven 295 Polaris, good evening. Information Mike is correct. It's clear to Stockholm. Master indeed, Stockholm. indeed. But, but it looks quite good, the Guardian. It looks quite good. Yeah, I'm good, thank you, Mighty Bosch. Very well. Polaris, control Canada 01, can you confirm 101 by 01? Left. Hey, firm, first, Raven 319. Level 40, Bravo, flight level 370, level mile out of Rafi. Level 43, Bravo, Polaris, good evening. Clear 3, Pam, 3, Lim, arrive, landing on the 0, 1, right. Clear 3, Pam, 3, Lim, arrival in the yeah. ILS, ILS, right, level 40, Bravo. I meant to put it behind. Level 74. Alpha departure, uh, 01 left, uh, 7000 feet initially and walking 5335. Right. Can I even 295? Can I even 295 feet back to the line 9A? So when we get there and we have a look around the airport, I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to close the chat. I'm going to hide the webcam and I'm going to hide Ben A. Overlay and I'm going to get rid of it all. And I'm just going to review the review, try and do a review of the app. And then see what happens if I then upload that to uh, YouTube. To see what happens, you know? I am from the UK, yeah. I'm originally from Ireland, but my great spare me the family of years. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm from, yeah, I'm from North London. Good, good, I'm pleased. Eight Barley, hello boss. Thank you very much for the resub. 19 yeah, months. Four, four. Which bit of it's Ireland are you from? Uh, right. Thank you. <laughs> Can drive it for seven four four direct Nosla. Direct Nosla for uh, Scandinavian four seven four four. Oh, I love Cork. I have really fond memories of Cork. When I was 21, which was a little while ago now, I got a car and uh, I, I did a road trip around Ireland, sort of going all the way around the coast with uh, four friends. And Cork was my absolute favourite town. I really liked it. I have very fond memories of nice pubs and friendly people and good this music. Number seven, you just get over come to go on taxi, second left via Sierra and Demo Orange to stand for. What, uh, what led you to Birmingham?
basic. Can I have a one three three zero leaving my space? You're going one to two. That's nice. Little. Ooh, a bit snowy up there, isn't it? Yeah, the couple's going to have a one three three zero. Go to. Go, Kyle. Go, Kyle. Devil for three Bravo. Proceed direct to Valde. It is, it's a brilliant play. It's a brilliant play. Devil for three Bravo, quasi direct to Valtu, Victor, Alsa, Lima, Tampa, Unifor. Direct Valtu, Devil for three Bravo. I just uh, confirmed the spelling error, Victor, Alpha, Lima, Papa, I don't Unifor. think it's as full featured as Victor, the Alpha, Lima, Papa, Unifor, 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 Yeah, Lufthansa 700 Kilo looks like uh, some traffic uh, possible on diesel scenery standing between 4.5 and 4.9. If 4.5 is not uh, available, so you can take any stand on the right hand side. Thank you, I Vina are different, can't any restrictions on the flight plan page, can on Vina. Okay. Pork is lovely. Oh, my dad had a job in London before the pandemic but wasn't fond with the expensive thus expenses. Thus we settled in South Birmingham. Ah, okay. Birmingham's not bad, it gets a bad rap, but I, uh, I spent a weekend there, and I really quite liked it, actually. Yeah, kind of the restrictions of like... Yeah, I think that's just a functionality thing. The um, not being able to edit restrictions on the flight plan, which I can't believe that's real. Maybe it is. I'm glad you're enjoying uh, life over here. Hello, this is Rose. We can name him for four Julius. He wakes up and he's warm. Welcome to Garden One Taxi via November and Hotel Stand 20. Taxi via November and Hotel Gate 20. Tusen takk, Scandinavian, for good deal. Polaris, Scandinavian, 295. North Birmingham is much wetter, Central and South is much more peaceful. Okay. You'd love to go back to it. Used to have a farm, eh? Really? Yeah. Golf and November. So what job did uh, did your dad get in London that, that caused you to sell the farm? Or was it... Did you need to sell the farm for a different reason than just found something? Trafalan, zero on left, and parking one one, get an zero on left. I think we might get a bit more speed on. We can drive at 474, 40, send flight level 100. Descend flight level 100, Scandinavian 4744. Beeline 9F, quick uniform, descend flight level 120. Descend flight level 120, Beeline 9F, quick uniform. SL9F, quick uniform, top of descent. SL9 Echo Uniform, please, and flight level 120. 
You still on CPTLC tree? Oh, into with the Amsterdam control. I haven't heard you. I still don't recognize your voice. I'm uh, around 10 knots from out of my top of descent. I think I still don't recognize your voice as well as I used to before your voice broke. Descent will already find level 352 or level 43 Bravo. I just got from 250. 250, sorry, level 43 Bravo. Again, the Raven 4744, descent 5000 feet, QNH 1004. Descent 5000 feet, QNH 1004, Scandinavian 4744. One zero zero four set. One zero zero four set. Passing one two thousand six hundred. Now checked. Now. Oh, it did call me even though I had CPDS. Oh, right, okay. Approach checkers. Narrow right. One zero zero four set. One zero zero four set. Seatbelts. On. Are you sure about that? Uh, yeah, no, I'm not sure about that. Eight, seven, one, set. Auto brake. Low armed. Engine mode selector. Normal. Approach check this complete. Good. Uh, we actually couldn't manage it. My dad is the only son of my grandparents was the single bread earner of the family and then as he got into the job market we couldn't manage him. Oh right, gosh yeah, it was a lot of responsibility, yeah. What sort of farm was it? Sorry, I'm very nosy, I'm interested in people's lives. <laughs> Feel free to just relax and watch the stream and ignore the interrogation. Line 7, Echo Uniform, descent 6,000 feet, Q9, 1004. 6,000 feet, 1004, B19, Echo Uniform. Direct 3, Echo Tango, identified, climb, flying at level 340. He had a horse farm with a couple of sheep, three fields of around 35 acres. Okay, oh nice. I take it you grew up riding then, did you? Nice. 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 Again, drive in 4744, descent 4000 feet, clear ILS 01 right. Descent 4000 feet, clear ILS 01 right, Scandinavian 4744. Yeah, Scandinavian 44, let's continue now on hotel and make the dive on the Yankee for stand 20. Continue on hotel and take right on the Yankee, Scandinavian 4444. Can the Raven 295 in call and they say the one left, can take off. Can take off, zero one left, can I even turn off? Level 43, Bravo Descent, flight level 120. Hey, that is Camps Cove Landing. Okay, thanks, bye. Thank you, bye bye. See you on the ground. 
And about what happened at Birmingham Airport? Keep on, no. Just one two zero. S tail nine or echo uniform. Proceed direct to Nosla. Direct to Nosla, S tail nine or echo. Now echo tango. Proceed direct to Valdu, Victor Alpha, Lima Pampa uniform, landing zero one left. Direct to Echo Tango, proceed direct to Valdu, Victor, Alpha, Lima, Papa Uniform. Direct to Echo Tango, expect the ILS approach on a zero one left. Direct to seven Yankee identified, proceed direct to Valdu, landing zero one left. Det er et valgt bøde, ikke sikkert, det er en serum her, det er ikke fra siden, ikke? Aktivate approach phase. Polaris, Scandinavian 295, passing 2500. Again, driver 295, start scroll identified, climb flight level 290. Climb flight level 290, scan again, 290. V-Line 9 Echo Uniform, proceed direct, Nosla, descent 4000 feet. Direct Nosla, descent 4000, V-Line 9 Echo Uniform. Flaps 1. No, a bit faster, we? No, a bit faster. Good. Flaps one. Ah, Martin, thank you very much indeed. Appreciate the follow. Uh, I've lived in North in London. So I live in, yeah, so I, I grew up in North London. I live in, uh, in North East London now. Lived in Paris for a bit. Um, lived in Thailand for like four months teaching English. Um, and I've lived a little bit outside London in Hatfield for a bit as well. But yeah, mostly, most of my life has been in London. Good, so here we are, about to get your first look at Joe Ellenson's uh, um, Oslo Garda Moon. No, no, so I did a TEFL course, I did a teaching English as a foreign language course to go and teach English in Thailand when I was 18. Um, so no, it was a one-off thing. It's something I wouldn't mind going back to again in the future. I always think of teaching English abroad as being sort of my midlife crisis plan, as and when I have my midlife crisis. <laughs> Um, but uh, no, I certainly would want to be a, a school teacher. Very blustery, considering it's only. Oh no, it's it's very, light. Jack. I thought it was only five knots, and we seem to be blowing around an awful lot for five knots. Again, direct to two nine five. Proceed direct to Marsa. Direct to Marsa. I work for the railway. And what about you? Are you working? Are you still at school? Can I have four seven four four parking stand three six window scroll? Can I see one right clear to land? Stand three six zero one right clear to land. Uh, Scandinavian four seven four four. Wish three echo tango and ready. We should tell the sim that the wind was last two. Speed check. Gear down. That's two. Nordic 4, 7, Yankee, when ready, descend sign level 1, 2, 0. Gear down. Gear down. Level 4, 3, Bravo, proceed, direct, Nosla. Thank you, Voitek. Are you working IT? Minor echo uniform, descend sign level 100. Gear down. Flaps 4.
Cabin crew be seated for landing. They've already set that test, Speed eh? Speed checked. Flaps 3. Speed checked. 1000. Check. One Flaps 4. Landing checklist. Ecam memo. Landing no blue. Landing checklist completed. Right, here we go. That's a very speedy final approach. I, I, I normally keep the speed up quite that much. A bit boring from time to time, but the salary is pretty decent. I think most jobs are pretty boring from time to time. Five hundred. Yeah, I'm good. The line at nine at Echo Uniform currently number two. Continue approach. Expect parking stand six one. One hundred above. Check. Continue approach, number 10, confirm, stand 6, 1, 3, 1, 9, 1, 4 Continue Chi 100 30 40 30 20 Retard Drive Hashtag 9R, Echo Uniform, defense 5,000 feet Spoilers. Reverse green. Welcome to Gardamon. Seventy knots. Good, here we go. That's not bad, is it? That's not bad. It's not bad at all, if I do say so myself. Right, what stand did he say? Welcome to God of Thanks for your again. Stand Vajulia Vajulia to stand 36 Scandinavian 4744 Thank you very much Thank you Bacelli Juliet stand 36 Wrong wrong one Look there 5551 No follow me thank you uh, you see you on um, approach, Bacelli. So you missed it. Five, 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 one. Correct. Decent flight level one two zero. Where is three six three six? Oh, it's on the corner there. Fine. Got a three echo tango. Decent flight level minus zero. Two miles. Good luck, boss. Again, that I went to minus five for the climb board unicorn, one to two, that's right. Approaching to unicorn, one to two, that's right. Right, let's let the plane just roll and we'll get down the end to see Tree Do and hopefully. Get the, get the drone set up at least. Was bold. After landing checklist. A reader in predictive winch system. Off. After landing checklist completed. Alright, we might have to slam the brakes on here. <laughs> then we can quite get parked up. Good luck, boss. Oh, nice. Nicely done. Very nicely done. Well done. Right, let's get parked up and then we will have our look around the airport. Okay. 
my question is still neither echo uniform, decent 4,000 feet, cleared ILS runway 015. 4,000 feet, cleared ILS 015. Uh, Taxi lights off. It is here, right? Yeah, it is here. Good. So here you are, Joe Erlinson's Aerosoft Mega Airport Oslo Garda Moon. Oh, we have a GSX Marshall and an Aerosoft VDGS. We'll follow the Aerosoft VDGS, I think. Yeah, which has done a nice job of lining us up. Bravo, decent flight level 100. Decent flight level 100, level 40 Bravo. Right, so APU is APU bleed is on. Engines one and two can go off. Seatbelt signs can go off. And we'll just wait for the uh, EPR to go below one which has. Beacon can go off. Deboarding will commence. We'll do our parking checklist and then we'll have a look around. Parking checklist. Parking brake board chocks. Set. Engines. I do like the Aerosoft VDGS in terms of its accuracy Off. guiding you onto Wing land. Lines. Off. Fuel pumps. And the clarity of the, the text as well, I have to say. It does look better than uh, Off. The GSX. Off. Parking checklist complete. Well, anyway. It's also saying SK1123. I don't know why that is. Can I change it? Right, Nordic 47 Yankee, decent flight level right. minus zero. Anyway, so as I said earlier, what my plan is now is to is to uh, just just get rid of the on-stream chat. Uh, get rid of my camera. Uh, I'm still here. I'm still going to talk. It's just going to be a bit like old school YouTube days. Uh, we're going to turn off the sound alerts for now as well. Um, and this is just it's just something I'm trying out. I don't know if it'll stick. It might not stick. But I'd like to make these little bits at the end where we do reviews and comparisons and things like that uh, relevant to your average YouTube YouTube viewer again. Um, and for that reason, I'm going to try and do them live, but uh, but also in such a way that they'll be suitable to just upload and maybe. Be We'll see how it goes. It could be a complete uh, disaster, or it could be something quite good. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Voitex has been banging on at me to try this out for uh, for ages anyway, so yeah. worth a go. Worth a go. So here we are. We have just arrived at uh, Gate 36 at Oslo Gardamon, having flown in from uh, Brussels. And uh, we're going to have a look around this preview build of uh, Aerosoft's latest airport um, done by Joe Erlinson, the guy behind Brussels. Now, as you know, we already have a really good representation of uh, uh, Oslo Gardner Airport from Finn Hansen, published through Orbex. And um, so as we go along, we're gonna have a little bit of a comparison where possible with some screenshots I took earlier uh, of the Orbex version of the airport. And we're going to see uh, which one we prefer. Um, so I am live on Twitch and YouTube and uh, I will be having a look at the chat as we go along. Uh, but basically, this is like, hopefully, the sort of thing I used to do with my uh, pre-recorded reviews, but a lot quicker and a lot less work. So let's take a look first of all at Trudy I'm pulling on to Stan. And second of all, 
we're going to go and have a look at the runway texturing, which is a different sort of a, a, an order, but it works because it's the order that I took the uh, photos of the other version in. So ground textures on the taxi in looked really good to me. It was a little bit unfair because I was chopping and changing between um, the drone view at the end of the runway and uh, the drone view at the gate. So there was a bit of blurriness while textures loaded in, but ge generally taxiing in, they looked very convincing to me. Runway texture wise, um, I'm going to say, again, it looks really good. I did have a little look at the satellite imagery earlier on and I was uh, impressed with the accuracy. You'll notice that there is a bit of a line um, up here where the two textures change. And that is true to life, that is accurate. And it also appears on the um, uh, Orbex scenery as well. So I think we can be fairly confident that that is uh, true to life. Now, let me just open up my screenshots from earlier and uh, I'll try my very best to show you like for like between the two sceneries as we go along. Right, so in the window here we have the Orbex version and down here we have the Aerosoft Joe Ellenson version. Um, as you can see, uh, but textures on both are really pretty good. But certainly for me, the Aerosoft one has it. We've got much clearer, much clearer lines in between these uh, um, concrete slabs. I also think that the, the yellow lines from the taxiways look slightly more realistic in the Aerosoft version. Uh, moving on down, um, pretty realistic looking uh, tire markings, which we also have on the Orbex one. Not a great deal to choose between those, I don't think. Good evening, Ian. Welcome to the stream. Moving on over to... I just have to remind myself where exactly we're moving on over to. <laughs> uh, got myself a little bit lost here. Sure, we were, we were looking at the same runway, weren't we? And then I think I just came off and I found this building. Maybe we were over the other side. That's weird. Completely lost. Completely lost my bearings. <laughs> let's find let's find stand 13 and maybe we'll come back to that if I can find it uh, again. I suspect I may have actually been down the other end or something like that. Yeah, I think I was. I think I think with the uh, with the Orbex scenery I started over here. So it'd help if I did the same thing. Um, going back one then. I got confused because we landed on uh, zero 01 left and I was convinced that that's where I was. So we have this maintenance hangar over here, uh, which is presumably um, owned and operated by Norwegian, certainly because those are the, uh, the two static models that we have in both versions of the scenery. Um, taxiway textures, really very little to choose between them. I would say that the Orbex version probably just has it just about here. Um, there's a bit of uh, satellite bleed through on the... Um, um, Aerosoft version here. But you know, they both look uh, pretty really good. Moving on to the terminal then, we're going to go over to stand 13. We're going to have a look at some of the apron ground textures as we go and also of course the building itself. So here we are, stand 13 and I won't spend hours trying to match the view up exactly but you get a good sense here of, uh, of how they each look. Um, and for me, the Orbex version was great, but the Aerosoft version definitely is, uh, is even better. The textures are just a bit crisper here. Uh, they just look that little bit more realistic to me, the, the grub and grime around the gate areas in particular. So moving on to a close-up view of the terminal building from outside. And again, there's no contest at all. The Orbex version looks fine, it looks good. But the amount of detail that Joe has put in here is, is incomparable. You can see we've got uh, proper transparent glass on all levels. We've got the, uh, this insignia, uh, the gate 16, gate 17, um, bus gate uh, text. We've also got animated vehicles, which you'll see as we looking around the airport. There's an animated train in the Orbex version. I don't remember seeing any animated um, airside vehicles, but I may just be misremembering. So there we are, a definite win for the, Orbit, uh, for the Aerosoft one there. Moving on inside, Joe is known, I think, for his interiors. You'll no doubt remember Brussels and how uh, remarkable, remarkably detailed that was. Um, but yeah, 
Orbex Finn did a great job with the interiors, except except for these Volanta adverts, which I hate. <laughs> uh, but that's not his fault. That's just Orbex marketing department getting their sticky fingers on the scenery. I think uh, the the floor textures look good. Everything in the Orbex version looks pretty good, but it's just not as good um, as the Aerosoft version. And we'll take a little wander through here with the drone just to show you how detailed it is. So we've got some fantastic realistic signage for animated people. These are not GSX people. These are actually part of the scenery. The signs look fantastic. You'll hear there are, there's noises, there's announcements and things like that. And there's even more than that as you'll see as we go along. My only real criticism of these interiors is that um, they don't have any supports. So they're just floating in midair. But it is worth remembering this is a beta build, this is a preview build, it's not the final version. Um, I'm sure little things like that may well be ironed out before release. Voitex says, what was wrong with that walkway above? I don't know, boss. We have someone playing the piano, playing for Elise specifically on the piano. Um, amazing, just, just remarkable levels of detail. I don't think there's anything wrong with the walkway above. This is the walkway above. We did have a little look around together in the Club Filbert Lounge earlier, so I may be misremembering something. I may have forgotten something that was wrong. Uh, but anyway, this, is, this gives you a general idea of what the interior looks like. Um, very, very convincing, very immersive. And although the Orbex version is good, um, no one, I don't think, can really match uh, Joe when it comes to interiors. What was the next thing I looked at on the Orbex version? Ah, yes. We have this uh, building at the end of this... Uh, is it the end of this pier? Once again, I seem to have lost my bearings a little bit. Oh, no, it's at the end of this pier. That's where we're trying to head. So we'll just get the drone down here, give you a side-by-side -side comparison once again. So uh, in the sim we have the aerosol version and in the uh, win window here we have the Orbex version. So actually the Orbex version here is slightly more detailed. You can see that there are markings on the, on the building, um, which are quite nicely done. The textures are better in the Orbex version as well. Um, so yeah, definite win to Orbex for this particular bit, in my opinion. Next, we're going to have a look through the glass, compare how real the two look. Let me make this a little bit smaller. And you know, it's no contest really. <laughs> Finn's done an amazing job, Joe's done an amazing job. <laughs> but because of the higher detail in the interior, um, the Aerosoft version wins again in my view and it is worth having a look at how faithfully recreated this sculpture is um, it's really really nicely done uh, so yeah moving on we're going to go and have a look at the tower now and a, a quick glimpse at the land side what I didn't do uh, when I had the Orbex version installed was uh, any night shots but I do remember that the night lighting <coughs> in the Orbex version was really good um, so we'll just see how the night lighting here is. It'll be my first time looking at uh, the Aerosoft version by night as well. So, a few things to take note of here. Both control towers look amazing. I can't choose between them. I think they're both equally good. I think perhaps the external texturing on the Orbex version is ever so slightly better, maybe? Very hard to say, it's, uh, you know. And really, you'd have to go there, wouldn't you, to look up close and see which one looks closer to real life. But I think you'll be happy with either control tower. This one, of course. <laughs> That's some slight... Hadn't noticed this before. Some slight elevation issues with the, uh, with the air traffic controllers. Uh, but I'm sure that can be uh, fixed as well before release or shortly afterwards. Uh, right. Um... The ground texturing in the Orbex version at the bottom of the tower here is slightly better, I think. Uh, here it's a bit plain and grey, but we have vehicles. Uh, the landside roads both look good. I think that the Aerosoft version wins slightly, if only because there are people here. And I think that just adds life to the scene in a way that nothing else really can. But the Orbex version looks great as well, so that's, it's no real criticism of that. 
But one of the things that I really like about uh, about Jerlinson's scenery is, is the is the animations of the doors. Not many people go to that uh, length for uh, realism, and he's really good at it. And as you can see, the whole check-in area here is modelled. Um, the security area, strangely enough, you can't go through. It uh, pings your your drone up above the roof. I don't know where that is, um, but everywhere else is accessible. And as you can see, we're straight back here into the departures area. Both sceneries have animated trains. Both animated trains look really good. The Orbex version has these green trains and uh, the Aerosoft version has some uh, silvery grey trains as you will see momentarily. Um, I know the silvery grey trains run because someone checked for me earlier on when we were looking at this. I'm sure the green trains run as well. Um, Joe's done a great job of the railway station as you can see these are the trains you get uh, in his version and they are animated they do go off down the track probably the models are slightly better in the Orbex version I would say but my goodness me if you are going to buy a scenery based on which has better trains um, then uh, yeah good for you <laughs> and the general perspective from down here uh, there are no uh, overhead lines. I've just noticed that there are no overhead lines in Joe's version. That's a bit of an omission, uh, whereas there are in the Orbex version. But the track looks better in Joe's version, as does the station platform. So there we go. We're really getting deep into the uh, into the details here. That's all I've got in terms of cons in terms of comparison shots for you. Um, but as I said earlier, we will just have a quick look at how this one looks in the snow and in the dark. Um, I. I can't, I can't tell you which, which looks better because, as I say, I haven't seen the Orbex one in the dark particularly recently. Uh, but I do know that Joe's night lighting on Brussels blew my mind. And this is also looking really, really, really realistic. So I don't know, I don't know if uh, Finn's Orbex version did a better job of the night lighting. I have my doubts. Oh yes, Voita. Yes, get a screenshot now if you wouldn't mind of the night lighting. That would be good. Train looks worse. Scenery rubbish. Simon says. <laughs> totally unflyable. <laughs> ah, it's glorious, isn't it? This is, this is glorious. Yeah, if you can get a night night screenshot, Voita, we'll, we'll have a look at that. And one in the snow, perhaps. Move camera to a shot you want, and I'll try to copy. All right. Well, let's do one here. Let's do one here from uh, from gate thirty six. Something like that. Doesn't have to be bang on. Uh, just anything in this sort of vicinity where we can see a, a stand and we can see some floodlights and we can see some interior. That would be grand. The Great is the signature train, the High Speed Airport Express. Ah, interesting. But the uh, the green is a is is also accurate, I guess. In terms of uh, in terms of trains that run to the airport, is it? I, it seems something that they wouldn't have just made up. So Voita, if you could get us a snow shot from here, that would be lovely as well. And in the meantime, I will uh, move us back to, to daytime. And we'll have a look at snow on the ground, because obviously um, in, uh, in uh, Oslo, there is snow, you do get snow. And a little look behind the, uh, behind the mirror. This is what I used to do in my review videos. I used to choose the snow preset and then move the clouds up um, so that it's not, uh, it's not foggy. And I also used to do something about making the snow a bit denser, I think, but they've changed all the settings since I last did a review video, so I don't really know how to do that. Mm, what I will do is I'll try... Oh no, there used to be a snowstorm freezer. But anyway, this will do. This will do us. It's not terribly thick. So we know... We've, we've been over this several times that MSFS is weird with the way it handles snow and the thickness of the snow that settles is dependent entirely on the colour of the underlying texture. Some developers have done better than others at uh, working within these confines. Uh, snow, just the snow preset avoid it and then move the cloud layer up so that, uh, so that we can see, um, see the ground without too much mist. Yes, static aircraft, are the, the only static aircraft are the ones I showed earlier on. There's none of the gates, fortunately. 
So yeah, there is there is a clear line um, between the snow covered areas and the areas that aren't covered in snow. Certainly at this thickness, it will change depending on the amount of snow that you see. And this is very typical of an MSFS scenery. We don't have any jagged edges around here that I can see, which is good. So I would say that compared with most MSFS sceneries in the snow, this is definitely up there. I have also seen better. I still think Sergio Del Rosso, the freeway developer, is the best at modeling snow out of any dev I've ever seen. But it's a limitation of the sim. No one's gonna get it perfect. This looks pretty realistic to me at the moment. Well, don't worry about the snow boss. I will take the, um, I'll take the, uh, the night one. That'll do me, I think. No one's gonna make a decision based on how good the snow looks, I don't think, in MSFS. One thing I will check while we wait for uh, for Voitex night screenshot is I'm just going to check that it isn't snowing inside because that was something that was unavoidable but now isn't and I'd be sort of, no no sign of any snow inside. You may have seen other airports where some of the passengers have a have a, a bit of white on their heads. Actually, you do see snowflakes, don't you? It's, yeah, you are seeing we are seeing snowflakes inside, but we're not seeing a, a covering of white snow on the uh, terminal interior. So that's good. Post it to screenshots. Thank you very much, Chris. That's really nice. Right, let's head back here. We'll go back to live weather. And we'll go back to night time. And we'll do a quick comparison with the Orbex version. So, screenshots, screenshots, screenshots. Open the browser. Oh, brilliant. So here we have it. This is Voitex screenshot of the Orbex version by night. And this is obviously the uh, Aerosol version by night. Both are good. This is the, the Orbex one is, is slightly brighter as you can see, although that could be sim settings, I guess, but I think it's likely it is brighter. To me, the floodlights don't look as realistic. Um, the terminal interior perhaps looks a bit better in the Orbex version. Certainly when you get up close to it here, it, it, I imagine in real life it would look a little bit brighter. There'd be a bit more light coming through the window. Um, but by and large, this night environment in the Aerosoft version, to me, is just so much, so much more realistic. It does feel like you're there. Um, so yeah, Jay wins once again. So there you are. That is, uh, that is my side-by-side -side comparison of the two airports. Um, the uh, Aerosoft Mega Airport, Oslo, which is coming out very soon, and the Orbex um, version of Oslo Garden One by Finn Hansen. Both fantastic, fantastic products. If you have the Orbex one and you're happy with it, stick with it. That's my advice. It's great, unless you really, really want this, or will be flying here all the time. But if you're in the market for your first Oslo scenery, uh, then it's absolutely hands down a win for the uh, the Aerosoft version by Joe Erland and that's the one I would go for and that's the one I'll be keeping installed. So I hope that was helpful and uh, for those of you who have just tuned in to watch the review video, uh, that's where it ends. Thank you for coming. Do please subscribe and click the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it and I will see you soon. Thanks a lot. Uh, the rest of you, I think we can uh, now, This is I, I appreciate this is a bit of a mental way to do a stream, but I think we can now go back, put the webcam back on. Here I am, and we can finish the stream in a more normal way. I am British transport enthusiast. I never, well, I did go. I went over to Twitch mostly for a bit. But yes, I'm multi-streaming now because I'm allowed to multi-stream. Um, so yes, I am, I am back on both platforms. Let's put us back to a sort of realistic arrival time so that we can restore what's left possible to restore of our immersion. I think it's around the place. So there we are. Here's our plane. Here's Treaty Wren's plane. Wojtek is somewhere as well, I think, probably. Um, yeah. Now, before we end the stream, uh, there are uh, several people who I would like to thank. Uh, I'm going to start with Wojtek, 
um, for doing that last minute screenshot, which was very useful indeed, but also for the Tenjlotti, um, um tip on YouTube of our stream elements, and also for the 10 gifted memberships too. Nico, Scottish Avki, Nick S, LDR in flight, Simon Forrester, uh, 226 Enforcement, Lanzanaria, Andre Oliveira, Couch Sim Pilot, and Benchi. Uh, I'm sure they will all be very grateful for your uh, gift, Gifted Club Filbert memberships, so thank you for those. Um, over on Twitch, we have some thank yous to say as well. If I can find the right window. I should probably stop streaming my entire screen before I dox myself accidentally. Uh, here we are. So we had uh, various new follows. Welcome to our new followers. We also had tier one resubs from H Barley, Caption Chris, uh, Nick, Simon, Jeffboy2141, Satira, Other Simon, and Trudy Wen. Thank you all. Thank you all very much for those. Um, and we had a primary sub as well from Oski Boy, so thank you to Boss if we're still here. Um, I'm going to call it a day there, because I'm absolutely shattered and I need a decent night's sleep. And I'm going flying tomorrow. Uh, but thank you all ever so much for joining me and uh, watching the stream. Thanks for flying along to Voitech and Treadu Wen. And I will be back as soon as I can with another stream. I don't know when that's going to be at the moment. But we've got LaGuardia to have a look at. We've got... Um, uh, a new New Zealand airport by NZA Simulations to have a look at. We've got V Pilots, Cartagena uh, scenery, V2 coming our way soon as well. So lots to look forward to. Do please subscribe on uh, YouTube at uh, youtube.com slash Uh Do please follow on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Flies. Join the Discord and uh, I will see you all very soon, I hope. Take care, enjoy the rest of the week.